overflows, operating through consciousness. Another question from the same seeker. How do you reach people's heart and how do you reach people's heart with your message? How do you reach people's heart and how do you reach people's heart with your message is the same question put in two different ways. First of all, you have to know what is heart. Are you talking about biological heart that functions for purifying and distributing the blood in the entire system, biosystem or something else? This biological heart that we know medically, but behind this, the subtle aspect of this heart is the consciousness and consciousness is like the Wi-Fi that surrounds you in your environment. There are many, if you check your laptop or iPhone, you will many Wi-Fi connections, links will pop up. Do you have the password to these? You can connect to a particular Wi-Fi only if you have that password. In the same way, consciousness pervades the entire cosmos. Isha vasya midam sarvam yat kinch jagatyan jagat tena tektena Bhunjitha ma gradha kashya shvintanam. Isha means that consciousness that you call light, that some experienced as unheard, uncreated sound, that is the God or whatsoever name you want to give it to, pervades the entire cosmos. Nana calls it hukum. Everything is going on in a particular rhythm. If you have surrendered to that, if you have trust into that, Shraddha Vishwas Rupinam. Shraddha means the trust. There is no literal meaning that can explain this clearly. Vishwas. If you trust in the existence and you have trust, then nothing can go wrong along with you. When you have surrendered to that cosmic law, then everything happens in a mystical, mysterious way that you have no words to explain. Are you? That is Isha Vasya Midam that pervades the entire cosmos. If you flow with that, your life will be blessed. Master is that one who connects you to that consciousness. He is like a pilot who is sitting in the cockpit. His responsibility is taking the entire flight, people who are in the flight, to their destination from where they boarded to the place where they want to land. In order to carry them from their place, to the destination, he monitors the flight. Every turmoil that is maybe there, he takes care of that. 
if there is adverse circumstances and situation, he changes the altitude of the flight of the plane. If there is storms or something there, visibility is not clear, he brings down the plane from the altitude where he is, where the plane is flying. And when the weather conditions are restored, he takes the flight back to that altitude. By varying the altitude, if there is a possibility that on this route he cannot land because of the visibility, he lands at another destination. He knows how he is trained, how to take the passengers to a safe journey. This is the role of the master. Master is nothing else but consciousness, the beauty that manifests. So first of all, you have to connect to your Wi-Fi. You know the art and the technique. First, you have to have your Wi-Fi and then you know the password. So that password is the message of the master. The, he may give you a secret, something that acts as password. With that, you log in into your system. So heart has to be invoked first. That means the flower has to blossom. When the flower blossoms, only then its beauty and fragrance will spread in the surrounding. So if your heart center is not open, your words are overflowing from your mind, conditioning your egocentric identities. And if your heart center is open or its process of blossoming has begun, then slowly and slowly you are moving to gravitating towards the heart center, towards the consciousness, from the mind to the kalp, to hrat pradma chakra, the heart center. And a moment comes when you completely operate through that center. Then whatsoever you see that carries magnanimity, it has something that cannot be described into the verse. And it is like you become like a metal and that energy field pulls you towards that, pulls you towards itself. And both are connected, the energy begins to flow, the cycle is completed. In this process, the association, the surrender, the trust in the Master, through the Master, in the existential law is essential. When this happens, you have gotten the password, you have gotten the Wi-Fi, you can connect to any, any person that you want to connect. And now it is up to that person, he uses the password, his own password, through his own system, his own heart, to connect to you. It will happen that no matter, once you are within the energy field of a master, you cannot remain unaffected by it in any way, whether you accept it logically or not. There are people that shows that they are guided by their egocentric identities. They are logical in their approach. Nothing is wrong with that. And 
but they do not agree with you but again and again they go on listening to your message as if the message is knocking slowly and slowly at their heart center at their door step the moment door opens the energy field the presence flows into that person so unless your heart center is invoked or is in the process of invoking the, um, you have to continue to trust the existence and introspect from time to time that whenever you have taken the decision out of your intuition that has never failed you then one day you will completely begin to operate through consciousness the moment can to operate through consciousness consciousness means it is the confluence of head and heart that is the point where the horizontal line of the mind from left to right the time the time moves in a horizontal line from left to right that intersects the vertical line which is eternity consciousness interact one another when your consciousness when your un- life is centered at that point your words becomes magnetic it has the and the capability to influence to attract to pull anyone whosoever listens to this message will cannot be cannot remain unaffected by its presence by its fragrance once you are passing your heart becomes the garden of the spring and when you are going there passing through for a moment you cannot remain unaffected by it and when logic comes in you will see how can there be the beauty in the flower when it is surrounded by thorns but then a moment comes in then you realize that thorns are to protect they are not obstructions they are to protect the beauty and the fragrance problems comes in in life but with trust and surrender they are overcome and if this has happened your message will reach to anyone maybe not today it is like the water drop slowly and slowly silently falling on the hard rock and after a certain time it makes a hole into the stone the hard stone it may take much longer time it does not matter how much time it takes but the water is drop by drop is constantly falling on the hardness of the stone and one day it penetrates through such is the way of the masters and his message is constantly striking falling on the hard rock of your mind and heart then one day the heart becomes mellow it begins to open its petals its beauty and fragrance then entire water that is falling is absorbed into it and then this is the only way that your message can reach to anyone enough for now